The guy on the left hand side is a telecom worker. Now this guy's working on microwaves and antennas and, and mind you he's close to them so it's concentrated and guess what you want to protect yourself or those will hurt him, they will burn him and they will kill him. But here is the reality. Is your child wearing that to school? Are you wearing that in your home? Are people with smart meters wearing that in their home? Is your baby wearing that? Is a fetus wearing that? It's ridiculous what's happened with this and here's why. Here's what telecom workers are wearing on the left-hand side to protect themselves. You see that plastic head? And again, I say this because it really makes me angry. This is called a SAM phantom model. Now, the specific absorption rate is the, the test that they're using for the limits of human exposure. So imagine this. The specific absorption rate is actually an admission of guilt. You admit we're absorbing energy, but why and how? So to dig into exposure codes and contact, go into the radiology guys where I talk to Eric LeMay, and here's a radiology guy. And I said, when you guys do these tests, cell phone manufacturers have to submit their phones to you for testing. He said, yes. So you can see that bracket on that cell phone. It's held out as per manufacturer specs, away from the head. It's on that bracket. Now you can see that black hose in the top of that. That's actually a temperature probe, and there's a hole in the top of that where they're pouring a salt water solution or any type of liquid solution. So when I looked at this and I talked to Eric, I said, how many antennas were talking to that cell phone when you did that test? And he said, oh, we didn't include the cell phones. We didn't include the antennas. Well, leaving the antennas out is like leaving a gun out in a shooting. You can't do that. You're only talking about the end-use device on a wireless circuit. The circuit starts where the guy on the left is. He's working that, whether those antennas are going up someplace else, those antennas are talking to smart meters. Those antennas, uh, our routers are talking to computers. Uh, antennas are talking to cell phones, but you've got this wireless circuit. And it's important for people to understand this. The difference between a wired circuit and a wireless circuit is this. A wired circuit is insulated. It's a known conductor. We know everything about that conductor, everything that there is, everything about the insulation. It would drive people crazy how technical and how anal that is. A wireless circuit is dangerous and requires all consideration because there is no insulation. You are not insulated. And everything without exception that is inside those electromagnetic fields and being hit by them is effectively inside that circuit.